this uh, vax machine, uh, the bar, the brush bar doesn't turn. Common problem with a lot of vacuum cleaners with brush bars, but the vax in particular, uh, the people who had a problem with this, actually my son, he dropped it off last night. They tried everything. They've, uh, it was all seized and all gummed up with dog hair, and the, the belt was, I think the belt was replaced, a little belt in here around a spindle, um, a drive shaft, and um, they they tell me that They've replaced the belt and it still won't turn. Um, I'm hoping that it's not the uh, mechanism turning the drive shaft. But uh, this is not a video about taking this apart and giving it a service. This is simply to show you how we can fix this brush bar here. It's completely seized. Um, I'm hoping it isn't the drive and it's something to do with the brush bar itself. Anyway, getting this out is simplicity itself. Three screws, take the top off and the brush bar pulls out. I won't go through that. Um, let's just get straight to the meat of the uh, the video. Uh, first video of 2020. Hey, I've been busy since you ask. Now the, uh, the, dr the, drive, the drive shaft is rotating fine, which is a, which is a blessing, let's, let's face it. Uh, um, that could be expensive to, uh, to fix. Uh, so it's just the brush bar. Uh, the, the, I don't know if the owners, it was my son, uh, have replaced this. They didn't mention it, but it looks like a brand new belt. I guess the last one seized or, or shredded. They didn't leave much information when they dropped it off. So that's turning. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at the brush bar. Okay, now the, uh, now the brush bar is out. Um, clearly a, a bearing visible, is that in focus? A, be a bearing visible at this end. That's turning freely. And I, I'm no um, surgeon, but there, there's obviously a bearing down here. I guess it's behind this cap. And if we take a closer look at the head, you can see down there there's a, a square recess where that end should uh, seat, and it does. Um, but uh, if I try and turn this, it's having none of it. There's uh, certainly some crud build up here, but that doesn't want to turn. Uh, turning freely this end, not turning at this end. I mean, I assume that turns. Uh, I guess this comes off, or uh, let's get it down in the workshop and take a look. Oh, here it is, in a, in a vice. I don't want to get a... I could put some uh, mole grips on it and try and turn it. I'm just a bit worried about damaging this uh, this plastic. It looks like ABS. It's not going to have too much... Uh... No, let me just try to tighten that. If I tighten this up, it might just de deform the the bar. And I need to be careful here. Uh, it's quite possible this is a cap of some sort. No, I don't want to do that because it's, it's moving in the clamp. Maybe, maybe I just need to get some purchase under this cap here. Let me try and tighten it up a little bit further. Oh, wait a minute, it's giving, ah, I feel it moving. As I tighten the jaws, I could feel, it. ah, here we go. Cowabunga, dude. Okay, let's loosen that because I'm sure that's not doing it any good. Oh, okay, all right. So there's your trick, get it, in, get it in a vise and slightly deform it. Boy, oh boy, what's happened here? Oh. You can see that, I guess, can you? Let me just check the camera. I'm not sure what the field of view... Okay, all right. Well, that's that's okay. But clearly this has seized in the housing. This... Okay. What I'm going to have to do now is... is you can kind of see that's what the um, plastic should look like. And all this is built up around the edge. Uh, so it's pretty fused to the top. It does come off, but it takes an awful lot of prying. It's it's almost like it's welded itself to the top. I'll get all this off. I won't uh, put you through the pain of watching all of this, but as you see, it's coming off cleanly. There's also a bit on the on the surface here as well. It needs to come off. Anyway, uh, back at the. Uh, at the vax when I've cleaned this up and uh, put it popped it back onto the bar. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, I've got most of it off. I'm a bit worried about you know biting into some of this plastic. Um, 
Now that just sits on top of there, very simple, presses in and it turns. It's not brilliant this mechanism, I can see it's going to go again. Um, the, these designs have changed since the time uh, I, I bought one of them uh, and that looks like a, a weak point to me but uh, let's uh, get it reassembled and see if we get rid of that uh, stupid red light. I should have said at the start, you should have unplugged these things. I was working on it, uh, albeit at not the business end of it. Well, I suppose it is the business end of it while it was still plugged in. Um, I don't know if the bar is switched on or off. Let's give it a try. Uh, fingers crossed. Okay, maybe the bar is switched off. Well, if you found that useful, uh, give us a thumbs up. All the best. Cheers.